So uh, as uh, Guillermo and I chatted several times leading up to this conference, has is on a glide path to construct 6,900 megawatts of solar. Now, 6,900 megawatts would be a 25-fold increase of what they have right now. Uh, first of all, um, California and Mexico, we share a very important history. Uh, we're neighbors, no? When it comes to fighting climate change, we're in the same uh, area in the world. And uh, so all the events that climate change can trigger uh, affect, affect us both, both uh, equally. Actually, um, my first job as a, as a lawyer was in Mexico, uh, and we were uh, uh, exporting energy to California when California faced the 2000 energy crisis. Uh, so uh, what I want to tell you is that we are naturally involved in, in economic integration and also in fighting climate change. Uh, now, uh, I don't think those issues, those um, dynamics uh, can be altered by uh, any administration. Economic integration um, follows the, the logic of a market uh, expansion. In Mexico and California, we share a border, we share interconnections. California, for instance, have excess capacity for generation. You have the problem of uh, negative pricing because of oversupply. And in Mexico, we have undersupply. And we pay uh, high tariffs for electricity because we are just developing our energy system. Uh, the, the logical um, economic way to, to deal with that is to foster that integration and send to Mexico that, uh, some of that oversupply that California has. That's a, a very natural development that I don't think can be, uh, can be stopped. And also, uh, we are just replicating the same policies. Uh, when I told you that we were looking around all over the world to uh, replicate this, the, the, best, um, the best policies and, and the best uh, regulatory tools, uh, California was a very, very um, important point of reference. Um, the California government has a very clear, uh, uh, a very clear um, vision of how Mexico plays an important role. And we are having very good conversations. We are uh, having a very increasing, increasing interconnection between our systems. And uh, we see that we share the same goals and concerns. So uh, regardless of any administration, I think that the benefits of integration the benefits of fighting the same battle against climate change will uh, eventually uh, bring California and Mexico closer. In Mexico, we have a vacuum. We have a vacuum in terms of investment, in terms of knowledge, in terms of financing, and uh, because uh, the demand is right there. We are a big country. We are a little, a little over 125 million of inhabitants. Uh, we have 80 million of electricity users. Uh, we, our electricity system is growing at the pace of 3.7% per year for the next 15 years. So there is going to be, there is a demand for, ener for energy. And we, we need that to keep our growth. Uh, so the challenge is uh, how, to, how to attract that investment. We didn't have that opportunity before because we had a monopolistic structure. We had a closed market that didn't allow any private participation, much less foreign participation. But now things have changed. We changed the constitution, we changed our laws, we created a new independent regulator. This is where I work. And uh, now we can say that uh, this framework can uh, allow us to offer the, the, the uh, well, security, certainty. Uh, we can create an, an environment of trust in which uh, companies, such as Californian companies that are very successful in implementing these projects, can come down there and do what they, what they know how to do. No? Uh, finance, plan, invest, uh, commercialize, uh, find consumers, offer them new products, uh, and, and you know, uh, create the same market that you have here in Mexico for the next few years. The challenge is to show the world Sure, California, that we have done a very important development, that the development, that the new framework is for the long haul, 
and uh, that um, it is a place where new projects and new business ventures can flourish.